welcome to my channel. My name is Skyline Killer, and oh, yes, this isn't Call of Duty World War Two. This is the other atrocity <coughs> that is built around microtransactions, and uh, that is causing a lot of aggro at this moment. Which you know it. it it doesn't surprise me that you know you get someone as big as EA and Activision thinking, you know what, profit is more than giving the fans or consumers exactly what they want. That is, you know, just a top-notch game, and yet, you know, they just seem to just think, oh, we don't need to do that. They'll buy it anyway. And we'll just stuff in a massive load of microtransactions just to make us money because profit matters, and that and that's the headline is that profit matters. It it, it it overrules what we think and what we want out of them as a company. You know, we put them in the position that they're in now because we buy their products, and yet you get treated. You know, with such disrespect, uh, it's just it's shocking. But at the same time, it's not shocking because yeah, they're a business; they need to make money. But the way they go about it is so underhanded and slimy. You know, I mean, you look at um, you know, you, you just look at EA and. But, you know, like the, the game I'm on now, Star Wars Battlefront 2. The fact that, you know, as far as they're concerned, that, you know, they're, they're not held to any account. You know, and they built this entire game around microtransactions. Absolutely built it around it. And... You know, whoop, shoot me and get it. And you know, nothing, nothing was care. You know, they just didn't care because at the end of the day, you know, who was going to stop them? No one. No one's going to stop them because they're EA, and they were, you know, and they're the big men. But when. But when Disney did turn around and told them to back off with the transactions, they're still arrogant in the fact that it's like, oh, we're only going to suspend the transactions for now until we can butter up Disney. Because, you know, where was Disney up until this point? You know, where... That, that, you know, I know Disney don't want to make the games anymore. And, you know, we're not privy to everything that goes on. So did they just give the complete set of keys to EA and just go, you know, yeah, mate, you just, you crack on. Um, you know, we won't just, we won't bother you. You know, you do what you want to do. Which is the most scariest bit? Did Disney actually know what was going on? And were they happy that they seemed to, you know, if that was the case, then they're happy enough to just let the, the transactions crack on. And, um,. And they'd have been making money out of it. And that's the scary bit, is that, you know, they, they you know, they, they could have been quite happy to say, yeah, yeah, you crack on, but because of the negative publicity about it, and with, you know, episode eight literally around the corner, they just said, whoa, you just need to chill out because you're, you're you know, what you're doing is damaging our brand. So, you know, you really do need to just back off. And that just, you know, and that was it. It's like, oh yeah, we'll suspend for a while. We'll let the, 
we'll let it calm down and uh, as soon as it's all calmed down we'll be back on it again and, and that's the thing they will be back on it again ouch so I don't know it's just you know and then you get like Bungie with Destiny 2 and how they're you know they're shitting all over the fans with what they're doing with that game and you know quite frankly I, I won't be buying Destiny 3 when it comes out they can shove that straight up their ass because you know enough's enough and same goes with this game as much as I love Star Wars and this game is you know visually awesome it's just the microtransactions and the complete you know ignorance and just sheer you know assholery that they just do not care you know it's like oh screw you lot we don't give a toss about you lot and why should we because we're EA you know and Activision's going the same way with Call of Duty as well so at the end of the day it's just like at some point enough's going to be enough and people are just going to well you'd like to think they're going to take a stand I mean I would you know it's just there is no alternatives out there unfortunately so you have to just either suck it up and play the game and not you know complain about about everything that goes on in the game and um, just crack on because that is literally going to be it so you know it's it's these big companies that are saying screw you profit matters we don't care about you we don't care about what kind of game we give you all we care about is squeezing that last penny that last dime right out of you and if you can't squeeze any more out of you well we'll just force you into that position where it's pay to win you know and it sucks because it's just this game could have been so much good better but no let's just fuck it up with microtransactions and let's just annoy everybody in the process so that we can just make a profit screw you I'm making a profit and it's shocking I'm dead again anyway I'm gonna leave it there and um, you know if you like this video please like subscribe share favorite all that good stuff because it does help and I'll, uh, I'll catch you on the next video laters